If you're looking for a marketplace to start dropshipping on, but you're thinking that everything is too oversaturated, then let me tell you that Etsy right now is probably one of the more undersaturated platforms to start dropshipping on. People absolutely love purchasing from Etsy and currently Etsy has been on the rise. For the last year or so, Etsy has been trending and sellers have been making quite a good amount of money on there. Now, if you're looking to start dropshipping on Etsy, then you definitely stumbled across the right video because this video is going to make it easy for you to start taking advantage of the massive profits that are on Etsy by dropshipping. And as I mentioned at the beginning, right now, it is probably one of the more undersaturated markets when it comes to dropshipping. What's going on everyone? Mario here with AutoDS. And if you're interested in dropshipping or if you're already a dropshipper, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future dropshipping videos. On this channel, we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, starting from some of the best tips and tricks to help you get started in the game all the way to some of the best products to help you start making some massive profits so if that's something that interests you just make sure to subscribe also as a guide to go along with this video i'm going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different tips tricks and links that i'm going to have throughout this video so if you want access to that all you have to do is comment down below hashtag etsy dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway is from this video what did you learn from it once i see that you went ahead and did that i'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet all right so let's go ahead and get started with dropshipping on etsy so the first thing that we need to do isn't actually to create an account. The first thing that we need to do in this case is find a product that we're going to sell on Etsy. The reason is because while you're actually creating your account, you're going to have to upload a product. So when we're looking for best selling products, then we have quite a few options to be able to find some trending items, some that will actually sell. The first thing that you need to keep in mind, though, before doing this is you need to decide on a niche or an item that's actually Etsy appropriate. You're not going to be selling things like electronics on Etsy because that's just not the marketplace to sell that kind of item. You're not going to be finding things like headphones or print on Etsy, although you can find accessories on Etsy. So you can find electronic accessories such as phone cases. Now there's a wide range of different items that you can sell on Etsy that will actually do pretty well, but some of the more popular niches are going to include things like jewelry and accessories, clothing, home items, digital products, things like invitations and similar items for events such as weddings or birthday parties, art pieces that for the most part are going to be handmade and things like crafting supplies. So a lot of DIY stuff. Now, in order to find actual trending items within those niches, then you also have quite a few different options. For one, you have the AutoDS winning products and the marketplace. So all we have to do to access that is simply sign up for AutoDS. And right now, if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create one for a trial period for just $1. Now, once we're signed on to our account over at AutoDS.com, then we can simply just click on over to the winning product section. Once you're on here, you're gonna see tons of different items that are currently trending and have a proven track record of actually selling. Aside from that, you also get tons of different analytics to help you market these products. All you have to do is simply just click into one of them. So let's look for one that would actually be Etsy appropriate. All right, so just scrolling down a little bit, I found these baby shoes. They actually look like they're handmade. They look like they're crocheted, but let's check them out and let's look into them just a little bit deeper. So as you can see, these, they actually seem perfect for Etsy. They're shoes for little kids. And one thing that we all know for sure is that parents do not mind spending a pretty penny on their children. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is something that I actually want to give all of you an example of, which is going to be importing your items both manually as well as automatic. So check this out. Right now, we're going to do it the manual way. So let's go ahead and actually save everything. So we're going to save this image and then we're going to save the rest of all of these. Now, keep this in mind for a few minutes from now. All right. So now that we know what product we're actually going to sell, let's go ahead and start creating our account on Etsy. So the first thing they need to do is just head on over to Etsy.com and you can click on sign in. Once you're on sign in, you're going to have to go ahead and actually create an account. So what you'll do now is click on register and register with your email, your name and a password. Or you can simply sign on with your Google account, your Apple ID or your Facebook account. Now, after you've created your initial account, then you have to create a seller account. For that, all you have to do is click on your account up here and then go to sell on Etsy. Then you're going to have to get started. Let's go ahead and click on this. Let's do this. Now it's going to ask you a couple questions here. You can just skip. It really doesn't matter. Same thing here. Just skip this question and start your shop. Now you're going to have to go through all of these different steps in order to actually start up your shop. So the first thing that you need to do is set your preferences. These are fairly simple and it's all pretty basic. Once you continue with that, you're going to have to name your shop after we go ahead and name our store. Then this is the part I was telling you about. We actually have to create a listing. So we have to create our first listing and this is the way that we're going to do it. So remember how we saved those images before? Well, right now we just went ahead and uploaded them because those are the ones that we're going to be using for this listing. Now on top of that, I still have to copy over the title here. And then you have to fill out the rest of these details. So about the listing, the category, the renewal options, it's all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll quickly go over most of these. So about this listing, who made it? Typically, you're always going to put I did. What is it? It's always going to be a finished product. And when did you make it? I always put either made to order or already made 2020 through 2023. 
or whatever the date is. Now the category, it's really gonna depend on what you're selling. So in this case, we're just doing shoes, all right? Booties and crib shoes. So we just choose those right there. Primary color, that's not necessary. Secondary color, size, occasion, holiday. The rest of that isn't necessarily important. And on top of that, it's optional. So you don't really have to put it in there. Now it is supposed to help with things like SEO and being able to come up when people search certain things. But again, right now it's not necessary because this isn't exactly what we're going to go with. So then we also have to go ahead and fill out the description. Now for the description, we're going to go back here, go to product info. And for the most part, whenever you look at your suppliers, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have pretty much just images a lot of the times and very little text, or it can just have a bunch of random text. And I can't really find any text on this. So in order to actually come up with a description, because it is mandatory let's just run over to chat gbt and we can just quickly ask it give me a etsy description for some cute baby booties could be generic all right so we went ahead and wrote a pretty big description over here now this might be too long so let's ask it to make it shorter about one paragraph all right perfect so let's go ahead and take this copy it and run back over to our listing and just paste it in of course always read it over and make sure that everything is relevant to the product that you're selling then after that you have the option to select a section for it so you can create a section so you can categorize all of your different items you can add tags to it you can add the materials that you're using for this so if let's say a shirt is made out of cotton you can put here that it's made out of cotton and then we have to set a price for this. I'm just going to put 25 because this isn't the listing that we're going to go with. Again, this is just a quick test and an example because we need to add something on here. The quantity variations. So here we can add any variations that we need. Do we want personalization on this? Typically, it's going to be no, especially if we're drop shipping and shipping. So here we set their shipping preferences for this particular item. So for the most part, the easiest way to go about this is simply to calculate them. And that's if you're going to charge for shipping. A lot of the times people don't charge for shipping, especially on Etsy, because people love free shipping. So in that case, instead of going through all of this and filling it out, what you're going to do is simply click on I'll enter fixed prices manually, put in whatever zip code you're shipping from if you're shipping in the US. So in this case, we're going to put 418944, 41894. We're going to set our processing time. So for this, since we are drop shipping, this might take a bit longer. So I'll put a processing time of about three to five days. And then the shipping time, I'll put whatever it actually is. Then we select our shipping services and what we'll charge, which in this case, for the most part, like I said, I do free shipping. But if you want to just charge five dollars for just one item you could do that and for each additional item you can charge either nothing or you can add an extra charge to it after that you also have the option to put the item weight and the size but that's pretty much it then comes one part that's actually mandatory which is the returns and exchanges so you're gonna have to make a policy for this now you can do add simple policy and it adds it the way you see it here which is that buyers have up to 30 days or you can create a policy and set it yourself so i accept returns or i don't accept returns same thing for exchanges and the time frame now this is really all dependent on you and the suppliers that you decide to go with so let's go ahead and save and apply and let's go ahead and save and continue. All right, so our listing is created and that's pretty much it. Now we can either add another listing or do this later, which is what we're gonna do now. Then we have to choose how we're gonna get paid. Now this is how Etsy is gonna pay us. So here we can fill out any tax information along with any information about ourselves. After you set up how you're gonna get paid, then you're gonna have to set up how you're gonna pay Etsy. The reason you have to do this is because for every listing that you upload, you are gonna have to pay 20 cents. Now for the first time that will be taken out of your actual bank account, but going forward, if you start to make sales, then those 20 cents for each listing that's taken out can be taken out from the balance that you're going to be paid. Then you just have to set up your two-factor authentication. You can either do that through SMS, which is text message, phone call, or an authenticator app. Typically, the easiest for me is to just do the SMS text message. Then you, all you have to do is click on open your shop and we can get started selling. Now, this is a quick walkthrough on actually how to get started drop shipping on Etsy. So I'm not going to go through all of the different tabs that are on here because that's just going to take way too long. If you want more information on everything that's here, then you can check out this video. It goes more in depth into everything about dropshipping on Etsy and all of the different settings. But for now, we're going to focus pretty much on just what's important. Now, the next thing that we need to do is actually create a shipping profile. So this shipping profile is what's going to be used for most of our listings. Of course, if we need to change anything on the shipping, then we can just create a second shipping profile. The reason for this will become evident. So just give me a couple minutes here and let's go ahead and actually create our profile. So for this, we just have to go ahead and click on our settings and go to shipping settings. Now our order processing schedule, that doesn't really matter. What we're looking for here is shipping profiles. So let's go ahead and create a profile and like I said, I like to enter fixed prices manually. And if you're drop shipping, I recommend you do this because it makes it a lot easier to be able to keep track of your expenses, your shipping expenses. When you create a listing, if you actually have to pay shipping for the product that you're purchasing from your supplier for your customer, then just go ahead and add that shipping cost to the total cost of the item itself when you sell it. So shipping prices, I'll enter everything manually. Origin zip code, 81245. Processing time for this, uh, let's go with 
three to five days for processing because I'm gonna look for products that ship fairly quick. Then we have United States free shipping. Everywhere else, if you do wanna ship worldwide, you can go ahead and select the service here. But I'm gonna stick to just the US, so I'm gonna delete that. And profile name, free shipping. Now save the profile. Oh wait, all right, so I did forget to choose the actual shipping service. I forgot to tell you about this. So here you have to choose which service you're gonna be using. Of course, since we're drop shipping, we're not gonna be using USPS for the most part, or FedEx. I mean, at the end of the day, it is probably gonna end up going to USPS, but let's just go ahead and select other, and then we have to select the delivery time. So of course, this can vary wildly, but for some products that can be delivered between two to five days, we can have one profile, and then we can create a second one for items that take longer. So for this, let's go to two to five. Now, if we have an item that the delivery time would be maybe 10 to 15 days we can do another profile here that would be between 6 to 15 days again it's really all dependent on the sellers that you're working with and the items that you're selling so I'll click on save profile and we have our shipping profile ready. Now, the next thing that we have to do is actually click back on over to our AutoDS account and connect our Etsy account to our AutoDS account to start simplifying the entire process. So here, what I'm going to do is simply click on the name of my store. If you haven't connected any stores before, it's going to simply just say add store for you. So click on that and then just simply click on add store. Now we have to choose the platform that we're selling on. We're going to go ahead with Etsy, continue. And now we actually have to sign on. After we choose to sign on, it's going to tell us that an application wants to connect. Simply just go ahead and click on grants access and we are connected so as you can see here my handmade crafts is part of my stores so now let's go ahead and actually start importing an item the way that i mentioned earlier automatic so you can see how much quicker it's going to be so i'm going to choose something quick i'm going to go to suppliers and i'm going to choose auto ds because this has the fastest shipping and i'm going to click on clothing shoes and jewelry because again this is one of the better niches to start selling on etsy now i'm going to go with something simple so let's go ahead and choose let's go ahead and choose this no love chain right here this actually might do pretty well Jewelry does fantastic on Etsy. And all we have to do now is just click on import draft. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Now, as you can see, just clicking on over to our drafts page, we can see the item there. Now we can make any necessary adjustments. We can click to edit. And once you click to edit, then here you can change all of the different details that you need to. So you can go ahead and change the title. You can change the category that it's going to be on, your shipping method, your tags. Although quick note, these tags are not the tags for Etsy. These tags are specific to AutoDS, so that way you can keep track of your analytics. Then you can also go ahead and optimize the description change all of the different variants make any necessary adjustments to all of the images here you can even edit the images yourself if you need to and once you're ready for the item to actually go live in your store all you have to do is click on save and import and the item will be ready to be purchased by your customers now one important thing to note is that the reason that we made those different shipping profiles is because whenever you create your listings on AutoDS or whenever you import your listings through AutoDS you're gonna be asked which shipping profile you want to use so just keep that in mind that whenever you're uploading your products through AutoDS the shipping profiles that you create on Etsy are going to be chosen on the AutoDS upload page. Now let's talk about fees. As I mentioned earlier, you are going to have to pay 20 cents for every item that you upload to Etsy. On top of that, every single time that you get a sale, you are also going to have to pay a transaction fee. That transaction fee is typically 6.5%, but then you also have a payment processing fee that could be between three to 4% plus 30 cents. So on average, I would say calculate your fees to be about 10% of your final sale. And of course, that also includes shipping. So if you're charging for shipping, you're going to get charged fees on the total sale, which is going to include the price of the item plus the price for shipping. So let's say you made your first sale on Etsy. Congratulations. Now it's time to actually fulfill your order. Now for this, you can either simply go to your supplier's website and place the order yourself. So you can go to AliExpress, look up your product, place an order, use your credit card details, put in your customer's information, and then update your customer with the tracking number. Or you can do automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS, which will expedite the entire thing for you. In the case of automatic orders, what's gonna end up happening is AutoDS is gonna log in on your behalf using your account details and make the purchase using your information. Then it's gonna put the information of your customer to actually ship the item to. And once the item is shipped and the tracking number is provided, AutoDS will take that tracking number and update your customer with it. Now, in the case of fulfilled by AutoDS, in this case, what's gonna happen is it's pretty much the exact same thing, except instead of AutoDS logging in using your account details and using your credit card details or your banking details to make the purchase, it's gonna log in using the AutoDS credentials and then make the purchase using a balance that you top up. And that's the easiest way that you can get started drop shipping on Etsy. Remember that everything that I covered in this video is going to be available to you in the form of a cheat sheet. And if you want access to that, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag Etsy dropshipping, and let me know what your takeaway 
was from this video. Remember, if you want more information on dropshipping on Etsy, if you want a full tutorial and a full guide, just check out this video right here. It's also going to be linked in the cheat sheet. If you made it this far, if you made it all the way to the end, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you. It truly means a lot when all of you watch the videos all the way through because it tells me that you guys are actually getting some sort of value out of this, that you're finding my content informational and it's helping you start up your business or continue your business. Once again, huge thank you to all of you for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and catch you all next time.